such an ominous sight, and yet I find it strangely nostalgic. Yeah, this is where Vice and I first met. Wow, this is where you used to live, Vice? Well, yes, I suppose, in a technical sense. Pretty nice digs for a floating magazine. At least it was free from annoying hussies like yourself. Let's go. And now the path is open. Be on the, excuse me, be on the lookout for anything new. Yeah, what's with those birds, man? Why, why birds? Could have been anything. Oh, I should also just, like, for my own sanity, want to double check. Weapon collection 100%. That's the most important thing about going to these new endings. Otherwise, we're just going to get ending B again, I'm pretty sure. To whom does the true voice speak? To whom does the true form show itself? You must access. It, it can talk. should I know? Patience. I believe this is some manner of password. A password? Yes. The correct answer should grant us access to the castle. I feel confident I have heard this somewhere before. <laughs> kind of jumping around to get a close look at these birds. Because of a black disease. I ask, how can you extend their lives? I answer by separating body from soul. I ask, what is the destination of soul? I answer, they are placed in their corresponding shells. Very well. You are acknowledged as masters. You may enter. Well then, seems the way is open. That's a long password process. That's like beyond two-factor authentication. It's, I think Shadow Lord gets tired of having to wait for the whole three-question bit. Because like, it takes even longer than just having to do um, just you know, like, what street did you grow up on? What was your childhood pet? Because you gotta wait for them to say it all out loud before you get to answer. Opala, Devala, what are you doing here? Hey, any chance you'll just sorry go back to Bugs. the village? This is a very dangerous place. I didn't get it, by the way, in case you were curious. Even if you can find Yona here, you probably can't get her out. How did you get here? Magic. We're asking questions right now. I don't think this is the choice at this point, because again, the save point was not too far back. Now I'm just curious what happens if I pick this. Do you really want to go back? This is non canon. This is the UFO dog behind it all ending. While Jericho collapsed, 5,000 people believe dead. Request for reinforcements streaming in from multiple locations. We continue to monitor the situation. February 6, 2008. Our main quest is still search inside for Yona, so I assume I can just probably go back.
but I also don't have anything marked on my map anymore, which is really interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of underwhelming, because the implication is that, like, we did just go back, but now Devil and Popola are also back, just telling me to say, be careful, hope you don't die when you go looking for Yona. And I was hoping this would lead to, like, the bad ending or something. I mean, I would have heard, I've done my research, I would have heard by now if there was a secret bad ending, but, I don't know, I was really curious if something would happen, it seems like... Consequence is not actually that great, it's just tedious because you have to fight through the Lost Shrine again, which we will not be doing because we just saved at the top of the Lost Shrine, and we'll just load that back up. But I'm curious if Devil has anything else to say. Doesn't look like you have any work for me right now. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's, uh... I think that's new. Uh -oh. Just leave me alone, will ya? Funny how lonely it gets when those brats aren't around. I don't regret it because you were an abusive father, but it's interesting that he, he misses them. Alright, sorry about that quick detour, I was just curious. Oh, yeah, I also, I forget if I brought this up. Um, the whole thing of um, the quote-unquote choice you get at the end of Act 1 of petrify Kaine or do nothing and let the world be obliterated. Apparently, if you choose the second one, Kaine just says, no, come on, you gotta do it. And then it just gives you the choice again, and it's one of those things where it'll just, it'll, it'll keep uh, prompting you to do it until you give in. I gotta love, oh, I'm forgetting what uh, game it is, but games that lean into um, you trying to refuse the path. Oh, actually, I know, it's, it's specifically, uh, it's a game I don't know the name of. It's a Japanese, like... The cutscene I'm thinking of is visual novel presentation. I don't think the game itself is a visual novel. I don't think it's a Persona game, but the 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 image I have in my brain is Persona esque, of a character going. So do you want to do this? No. Okay. So you don't want to do this? Yes. All right. But are you saying you don't want to not do it? And like the character is trying to trick you up into saying that you want to accept the quest. <laughs> And directly ask stuff like, well, you know, you kind of have to say yes. So you do want to say yes, right? And it it goes on and on in a very entertaining way. Um, that's another thing I'll put in the description uh, when I figure out what that is, because I'm going to look up what that was. Although I don't know how to Google that. Do you want to accept the quest? Yes, no. Gimmick video game. <laughs> All right, hey guys. That thing that just happened, it didn't. We reloaded the save. We didn't fight back through the Lost Shrine because we changed our mind. That definitively is a version of the world that didn't happen. No dice, huh? Well, I guess we don't have a choice. No, I suppose not. How sad. Although now I'm curious if there's new Devil and Popola dialogue once you fight back through the Lost Shrine the second time. If they go, oh, you're back. We thought we had taught you we a lesson. We didn't want to fight you. It's true. We didn't want to. All right, it doesn't matter, but I'm still going to try and only do damage to Popola. Devil up. What's happened? We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so much. Oh, word? No damage? Is that just because we've reached the part of the fight where we need the next thing to happen? Because we have to have the reveal of uh, they're sucking away Vice's powers. Oh, what 
They really just tased Liam O'Brien for that take, didn't they? My copy, my paws. Ow. Shit on a shield. They can use the shield versus. Of course we can. The power came from us in the first place. We simply loaned you a small portion. <laughs> Are you all right? Devil. We're beating the shit out of you. Clearly you've learned your lesson. Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? You've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. We shall depart now for no reason. I like the idea that they've uh, that they've been like, ah, you've proven yourself. Now you can continue, and it probably is just like, sis, we gotta heal up. We can't. We we gotta retreat and and uh, do what we can to prepare for fight number two because we are not winning this one. You all right there? But instead, they have to frame it like, "Yeah, we're we're letting you in. You've proven your metal. Please enter." It reminds me of the uh, um, I won't say spoilers because it was a very big twist. But um, in the Way of Kings, there is a point with um, where character A is sent in to kill character B, and then character B reveals. Ah, actually, I was the one who told you to do that. And in fact, I've been doing... I've been pulling the strings all along. And that's a trope I've seen a couple of times of, like, someone's about to kill the person who then reveals, actually, I, I'm i in charge of you. I tell you what to do. And you can't, you can't kill me. Um, and just once, I want that to happen, and it's just a bluff. Like, a person realizes they're being targeted by an assassin... And then the assassin shows up, and just in a panic, they're like, Ah, you've certainly proven yourself. But now I can finally reveal the person behind it all, all along was me. And he had the assassin to be like, Really? And the, the, the target goes, Yes, I definitely ordered... The, the assassin goes, You mean you sent me to also do this thing? And the victim, who had no idea that shit even happened, goes, Yes. Yes, I absolutely asked you to do that. I need you to do that for my master plan. I really, I, I really want to do that. I kind of even want to try it in D and D if I'm ever playing a super high charisma character. Of assassin shows up and I just go, Ah, you finally made it, and you've proven yourself. Now we can get forward uh, doing the real task and just hope that the assassin doesn't actually know all that much about his benefactor. <laughs> Ululoth. Wordsmith. 50% of all words. Yeah, we were not getting 100% anytime soon. I noticed that was an achievement, and I was like, oh, if I don't have that achievement yet, it means 100% on, on collecting all words is definitely never going to happen. Pretty choker. I pretty much know her. Uh, get it? Because the pretty was in the thing, so I worked it into the thing too. Oh, you're still up? Again, we've killed Open almost the all of them. Cover me. I guess they do start spawning in again, but the point when he says that, and it feels like the player is supposed to feel, oh, it's a worthless, uh, it's a hopeless battle, is right when the player is feeling like, all right, I got, I got pretty much all of them. Come on. Oh, come on. Kind of, hurry. 
It's not open yet? Do I look like a goddamn locksmith to you? No, you idiot. Does that line always get interrupted? I feel like that's happened every time. Got it. Kaine, look out. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to play, because this is a waiting game, right? Of waiting for Kaine to open the door. It's time to play the game of Can I Avoid Killing Any Children? I guess we probably did kill Khalil, but we're gonna try to avoid it if we can, if it lets us. Wait, one of them is just we have to go check on Kaine, right? I guess Emil is the only one killing children today, if we can, if we can avoid it. Kaine, what's wrong? I have to just wait for the dialogue to um, exhaust itself. Alright, now if I successfully do this... That pig has way less reason to be mad at me. Ah, shit. Nothing's happening. I'll give it like 10 more seconds. Okay, they're doing a white phosphorus, I suppose. Gotta fit the message of the game. That yeah, I only had to kill a couple, I guess. You okay? Yeah, but we got problems. We should be able to kill a little bit of the shade babies at work. Alright, now I need to pay attention to the cutscene. Are there two pigs, or is it just the one pig? Yeah, I know. I do feel bad. I do feel bad. I already felt bad. We don't need forgiveness, asshole. Kind of, what the fuck are you talking about? Got it. Okay. Camera scrolls away. It's what Nier is currently looking at. He's looking at the dead body of the pig. Vice is looking behind. It's definitely a second one. It's gotta be a second one. Which is weird, because the second one I don't think talks nearly as much. Hey, I got another achievement for defeating a boss so quickly. That's a positive thing. Oh! That's what's important, is that we're racking up achievements, right? Can we even hurt this thing? That's the, that's the message of the game. That fits with the themes. We can't stop now. Damn it. Stay focused, Kaine. No, don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on, we have to keep going. But my combos. I might be able to get to a hundred. No. Alright, 75 will have to do. Oh, right, I keep forgetting the staircase sequence. It sucks. Oh, Emil just teleported forward, because it's required. Wait, isn't the gimmick that they go up ahead of me? Doesn't Emil keep yelling for me to follow? Why did they, why, did they just teleport up ahead? I guess so, because they're not down there anymore. Please hurry! Shit. 
I think, I think I'm. I think. I think we're good. Oh nope. There's one, there's one more set of staircasing that I forgot. Okay, we're good. You want to close the doors behind us? Oh yeah, we do close the doors. I think it just breaks through. Damn it! I can't get it open. Oh no, this is bad. They Kainé and Emil have glitched away. I really hope that does not affect. Oh no, they're back. Okay, thank God. Maybe you shouldn't have killed your friends. Look at her. So strong. She's just like you, sunshine. <laughs> like you're any different. Huh? Pete is just another crutch. You're in pain, you're lonely, no one likes you. So you try to dull it all with violence and hate. Very strong vibes of Woody going. My guess is no one's ever really loved you. It is. Ah. Sorry, Ken. I didn't mean to interrupt your massive character moment there. I don't think that one chunk of armor is supposed to be the only one left because it really doesn't look right when that happens. Definitely supposed to knock that one off first and have the rest of the armor stay. I'm realizing this is also an actionized version of, I think, the morning music, the sad, uh, uh, death music. You are correct. Which is, uh, foreshadowing for what's about to happen to the king, I suppose. Ow. Can we at least get the rest of that armor off? It doesn't look right. Yes. All right. Now the final cutscenes uh, regarding this boss will be aesthetically pleasing. I suppose we could try to knock the tail armor off too. Waka waka. Nope, that tail armor staying on. Sorry, guys. Hope that's not what uh, ends up killing the king. Hey, stop! Let me go! Stop it! King! No! Open the door! You can't fight them on your own! God. I love that that just two line exchange is so like I'll never get tired of character knows they're about to die and not only faces death with bravery, but also kind of a casual, hey, let's chat about something kind of inane while it happens. And it's just so fitting with everything about Facade to end with, hey, let's talk about some more rules that are technically relevant, but it's kind of silly to bring it up right now. Let's go. It's that's so good. He's fighting for you, and for Fira. That's one I can't even describe Love. why, from a writing perspective, it is so cool and works so well. But it just does. It, it goes so hard. I don't even remember this music. Ooh, recovery potion. That's a rare one. I 
what does the map look like? Oh, it's just it's really it's just a really long hallway, huh? But if you look closely, it's actually shaped like a reaper. Unironically, still love that thing in Mass Effect One, the 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 council chamber where you fight Saren at the very end, shaped like a reaper. I think that's really cool. I really thought it would be Devolo's idea to sit in the big giant chairs, but it might be Popola. Cause fuck Popola, am I right? Devola can hang. Devola, Popola. Popola can't. Oh look, you made it. We've been waiting for so long. You've been waiting for like ten minutes, guys. What the hell is going on? I know I said that last time, I think, it but like, come on. It began hundred years ago. Humanity. Finding itself on the brink of extinction. <laughs> they hear uh, uh, Project Gestalt. everyone running up the hallway, and they're like, "Shit, hide the bandages. We ju we just got patched up. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. All right, and, and sit. Whew, all right, we made it." Gestalt. Do you still not remember Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Ah, uh, Bill Gates is implanting the memories in my mind. <sighs> Uh, my, I, I remember Devla, Popola. <laughs> Did I talk about the? Yeah, I talked about in Tears of the Kingdom. My Uber driver, who was an anti-vaxxer, thought Bill Gates was trying to uh, uh, defertilize. What's the name? Where you, sterilize? Trying to sterilize the global population. Who also got vaxxed and got his entire family vaxxed. It's like that's just. You shouldn't be an anti-vaxxer, but if you're going to be an anti-vaxxer, at least commit to it. You're just setting yourself up for a stressful, upsetting life if you still get vaccinated. Like, what's what's even the goal there? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. You lie. Nope, not this time. You're not human. None of us are. I like how you lie, nope, not this time, implies that they have lied to us a ton. Which, yeah, there's definitely been, like, lies by omission. I don't think they've directly lied to our faces all that much. So then humans, I mean, the true humans, they're extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait. Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. <coughs> the right I'm sorry. I'm trying to process a, a crazy amount of insane information right Please now. don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Under the command of the true humans, we live eternally for the sole purpose of controlling others. That's the only reason we exist. See, that line implies that Devil and Popola are special and are not the same as all the other ones. We live eternally for the sole purpose of controlling others. So, I don't think it's as simple as they're... Your own designs. They're just replicants. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. I mean, like, we knew they were in charge of stuff, but the, the specific line implying that... These two were designed specifically Sorry. to be in this role. I think does kind of differentiate them from standard replicants. But, you know, they do bleed. And they talk about, in the same way that uh, uh, all of the main characters are, they too are bodies without a soul. So they probably are the same type of creature as all the other replicants. But, um, nothing like you. None of us are. They're still special. Can I go up these stairs? Oh, just just up to the, the stage, but I'm not allowed on. Just like um, me when I tried to rush the stage in my uh, college lectures. They let you get up the stairs, but then once you get on stage, that's when they step in and go, No, no, no! I don't even know what I'm trying to imply there. So, sometimes you go for a bit of like, what if I just said this crazy thing happened, and then you like start telling the fake story, and you go, 
there's no there's no good ending to that story what I, I, I bail 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 sometimes you just gotta bail on a bit hey oh, uh, you crying no don't die you know I understand now why we're twins it's because because we were born without souls Devla, I, I can't stop the bleeding. Oh God, I can't stop it. This world is too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much emptiness. Our souls are missing, but our tears still work. That's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. Don't you go! No, no, I can't be alone! Devil! Alright, Popolo, let's be rational and logical about this situation and, you know, just negotiate how we can move forward from here. Popolo. Let's stop this now. Me to stop? You think I have the luxury to stop? You cut down my sister like an animal, and you tell me to stop? Popola, wait! It doesn't have to. No one stops. It's way too late to stop. No one stops. <laughs> The near response there really reminds me of, um, in Berserk, uh, god, that guy was, that goes by real fast at, at later playthroughs. Do I get an achievement for that? <laughs> um, I think it's at the start of Lost Children when Guts is in the village and they're all angry at him for, um, I think, ca like, causing some sort of ruckus. And it looks like they might be about to get violent, so... Guts pulling out his sword, like, it makes sense in the moment to do. But then he says, he, his, if I kill one or two of them, his phrasing is not, maybe they'll stand down, maybe they'll back off, maybe they'll get scared off. His, the literal uh, line in the translation I read anyways was, maybe if I kill one or two of them, they'll calm down. <laughs> it's like, Guts... This is what happens when you kill someone's loved one and then expect them to calm down. They're not gonna calm down. <laughs> you know, when I was young, I, I hated my eyes. And now that I'm older, I hate what my body has become. There's something else there now. Something like pride. I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Keep going. Weirdly, true. <laughs> Somehow, Emil survived. <laughs> the dead speak. Emil, you jackass, get back here! Emil! And that other guy. <laughs> I didn't notice it the first time, but it is very funny that for that conversation, they have to be like, oh shit, Emil can't name the main character by name because they might have named the character anything. Oh, 
Oh, but then he does... I can't... It's hard to tell on the TV. I'll check in the recording. I think that one line might technically be unvoiced. I can't tell if he says anything. What would be very cool, although it would make me sad that I didn't do this, because I didn't know that that's how the game was going to do, if you do name the main character Nier, that line is voiced. That would be, that would be neat. It's okay, buddy, you're going to be okay. Like, this scene is weirdly still hard to watch, even though we know he survives. <laughs> The delivery on I Don't Want to Die is very well done. I'm realizing I don't know a lot. And, like, I, I looked, I was scouring those credits. I don't think the credits have most of the main voice cast. They just have voice director. Um, aside from Laura Bailey, Liam O'Brien, and then Jameson Price as the main character, I don't think I know who the other voice actors are. I think I recognize Noir's voice. But... Um, yeah, everyone else, I don't actually know. So, definitely gotta look that up. 